This is the second lesson that is for the ground strokes. This is called the positioning. Basically, when you play a ground stroke, whether it's forehand or a backhand, it can be divided in two parts as mentioned in the previous lesson. The first is positioning, the second one is the swing. We have seen swing in the first lesson. Now, in the second lesson, this is a very crucial part. This is called positioning. Before hitting the ball, how do you position yourself? Before hitting the ball, how do you position yourself in order to hit the ball? Okay. Now, there are uh, in previous uh, chapter uh, in the serve lesson, we have discussed uh, about the action that is derived through conscious thinking and action derived through subconscious thinking like walking. While walking, if your left leg goes forward, then your right leg, uh, right hand goes forward along with your left leg. And uh, if your right leg goes forward, then your left hand goes uh, forward while walking. Now, this is something that is derived through this action of alternate left and right hand while walking is derived through subconscious thinking. You are not consciously thinking to put your left leg and right hand forward while walking. This is something that comes subconsciously to you. This is the action derived through subconscious thinking. That is the example of action derived through subconscious thinking. Through conscious thinking like lifting a particular object. This is the action derived through conscious thinking. Similarly, swing, actual swing on the ye ball, it is derived through, action is derived through subconscious thinking. Let's for example say that there is a ball on the cross court size. You are running on the ball and you are hitting the ball. What happens if you move too close to the ball? You will end up swinging like this. If, the, if you move too close to the ball, if the ball is far away, you will end up swinging like this. Okay. So basically while swinging, you are, you are intending to swing like this. You are not intending to swing like this or like this. You are intending to swing like this, but because you are not positioned properly, like in the first instance where you are close to the ball, you end up swinging like this. And in the, in the second instance where the ball is too far away, you end up swinging like this. So that is what I'm trying to say is that swing, the action, the actual swing is derived through subconscious thinking. You don't actually think about it. But positioning yourself, moving towards the ball, how far, how close, that is derived through conscious thinking where your actual conscious thinking is required for that particular action. Uh, basically, what you have to do is that whether you are playing in the open stance or you are playing in the closed stance, again, make sure the ball is properly to the side of your body, here, somewhere here. So if I want to hit the ball there, my contact is supposed to be here to the side of my body. That means here, side of the body. And then I will go here. If the ball is here, if the ball is here and if I hit it like this, it won't go inside the court. It will go on other court. So if the ball is here, first thing I will do is that I will move in such a way that the ball is always to the side of my body for forehand side. If the ball is here, I intend to hit a backhand, I will move in such a way so that the ball is on my backhand side. So positioning is very important. It requires action through conscious thinking. Swing is the action derived through subconscious thinking. For positioning, make sure you always move to the side of the ball. Make sure you are moving to the side of the ball. Always make sure the contact is sideways. Again, you can either have a close open stance for hitting the ball or you can have a close stance. Irrespective of your stance, you are always moving to the side of the ball. The ball is positioned in such a way that it is to the side of your body for geometric purpose. This is, for, this is for where your conscious thinking is required. This is the second lesson. This is very important and very crucial that is positioning yourself. I will be sharing some videos where I will be actually hitting the ball and I will be moving uh, around the ball in such a way that the ball is always to the side of my body. Okay. Here, I am trying to move in such a way that the ball is always to the side of my body. Whether it is forehand or backhand. As mentioned earlier, Swing is derived through subconscious thinking. It is the positioning and the movement around the ball that requires conscious thinking. This is positioning 
is derived through conscious thinking the action of positioning yourself around the ball is derived through conscious thinking swinging is an easy part here you can see that my sole objective of this drill is to position myself in such a way that i am always to the side of the ball i am practicing forehand here so i am moving in such a way that the ball is on my forehand side and it is to the side of my body lot of youtubers you see they talk about the back swing the follow through and all those things make sure that follow through back swing and all other things they don't bother you don't focus on those things just try to position yourself in such a way that the ball is always to the side of your body you can play open stance you can play close stance just make sure the ball is always to the side of your body okay things like follow through back swing and all those things they should not bother you those things are as a result of subconscious thinking those things that action is derived through subconscious thinking what you can control and what you can work on is positioning yourself the better you position the better you will be able to hit the ball same thing here on the backhand side i am focused on positioning myself in such a way that the ball is to the side of my body i am not letting my back swing my follow through bother me make sure the ball is to the side of my body here you can see the ball was inside the body so i have to modify the swing as stated earlier swing is derived through subconscious thinking if the ball is in the body you will modify the swing in order to hit a proper shot a proper swing positioning yourself is imperative so whenever you practice ground stroke the most important thing to remember and the most important thing to work on is your footwork play with your legs not with your hands position yourself properly work on footwork and positioning